ओम ओम यो ब्रह्माणं विदधाति पूर्वं यो वै वेदाष्ट प्रणोति तस्मे तमः देवमात्म बुद्धि प्रकाशं मुमुक्षुर वै शरणमहं प्रपद्ये ओम शांति 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 ओम नमो ब्रह्माद्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कृत्यो वंश ऋषिभ्यो महत्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलवरिता प्रज्ञान घन प्रत्यगर्थो ब्रह्मस्म ब्रह्मस्म वेदांताथ विभासकाय गुरवे शांताय संन्यासिने नानावादी नगेन संघ पवये योगींद्र वंद्याय च मोहद्वांत दिवाकराय भगवत्द विधा विद्रते तस्म भाष्यते नमोस् सतत पूर्णाय बोधात्मने सर्वतंत्र स्वतंत्राय सदात्मा श्रीमते शंकराय वेदात गुरव नम योगतीर्ण इहाचार्य रूपेण यतीना मुदे श्रीमारायण वंदे तम हरि करुणा मननाख्यम प्रकरण वासुदेवयतीश्वरे रचित विस्तरेण संग्रहेण प्रकाश्यते बालाय मम विज्ञान सिद्ध तद्रश्ने बालगोपाल कृष्ण सन्नी भवे So the first thing to be noted is that we need to eradicate the rajoguna and tamoguna from the mind. Now, another thing to be understood is eradication is bereft of these gunas. because everything inherently is trigunatmak to a simpler language i am going to say it simply means that whether it is our desires or whether it is our infatuation moha it is the moha and desires which are rajog or our activities or our inactivity all this should be guided by our power of discrimination vivek so thus that would mean that it is the vivek is the guiding force that directs whether it is our desire or whether it is our inactivity etc is all guided by vivek thus this is what it means and why is it so because atma is atyanta sukshma vastu and therefore 
if the mind is going to be agitated or dominated by the mood it would not be possible to understand this atma anatma viveka talking about atma anatma viveka atma is now said as to be avasthatraya sakshi and therefore now what are these three avasthas has to be defined and it has been so well crisply defined over here uh, which is which is indeed something that we should always remember what is jagrat avastha sakalendriyai bahyatho balam ko jagrat avastha swapna avastha is jagrat vasadiya antakaranasya ಭೋತೃಭೋಗ್ಯಾದಿ ರೂಪೇಣ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಸ್ವಪ್ನಾವಸ್ಥ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಜಗತ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯಾಪಿ ಕಾರಣೆ ಅಜ್ಞಾನೆ ದಯಾನಂತರ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಸ್ಯ ಕೇವಲ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿವೇದ್ಯ ಅವಸ್ಥಾನ ಸುಷು okay so though there is avidya but that avidya has not expanded into its karyam which is sthula sukshma jagat athwa swapna and jagrat avasthas so where ignorance thus remains in its karana avastha and when it is illumined by sakshi chaitanya sakshi means sakshi chaitanya ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥಾತ್ರೀಡ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವಸ್ಥಾತ್ರಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಅವಸ್ಥಾತ್ರಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಆತ್ಮನ ಕಥಿ ಹೌ ಕಮ್ ದಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ that the atma is the sakshi is the witness illuminator of all the three avasthas okay atmani sakshi lakshanasya vidyamanatva because the whatever is called as sakshi we find those characteristics in atma and therefore atma is called as the sakshi of the three states what is the reason that you have called otherwise what sakshi means somebody who is brought as a witness over there in the court okay so is there something like that so judicial uh, thing is going on here no sakshi lakshanasya vidyamana path kutra atmani iti brumaha this is what we can say so naturally what should be your next question my <coughs> sakshi is okay and atma is called sakshi because the lakshana the definition of sakshi is available in atma and so atma can be defined as sakshi so what should be your question what is the definition of sakshi so here it goes ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಲೋಕಸ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಅನ್ಯಸ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾವಟ ವಿಕಾರಾಹಿತ್ಯನ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾ ದ್ರಷ್ಟುತ್ವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿತ್ವ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿತ್ವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾ ದ್ರಷ್ಟುತ್ವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಯುಮೆ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾ ದ್ರಷ್ಟುತ್ವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿತ್ವ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ದ ಫುಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ 
साक्षत्वेन अभिमताद अन्य से कस्य पुरुषस्य यत् विकार राहित्येन साक्षा दृष्टित्वम् तत् साक्षित्वम् दृष्टि विषयाना अन्य दिया अवस्थाया तद् व्यापारानं तस्य चावस्था प्रायिति है लोके सो इन योर फील्ड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस लोके अस्मित लोके वह हु इस कॉल्ड एस साक्षी सो एकस्य पुरुषस्य अन्य दिया अवस्थाया अवस्था व्यापारानं So there is a person, and that person has some avastha, whatever it is, good, bad, happy, sad, so on and so forth. Or avastha vyaparanam, what does he do when he's angry, sad, or whatever? Avastha vyaparanam, anyasya tasya avastha avataha. So now the second person who is seeing this, how is asa tasya? Avasthavataha vikararahityena sakshadrashtutvam sunam he sees vikararahityena without any modification in him. Vikararahityena sakshadrashtutvam sakshatvam. If there is no, if there is vikara in it, then that will contaminate and he will become a participant that will no longer remain. Sakshi, and therefore uh, he is the witness of the other person, his avasthas, his vyapara in that vyapara means transactions, actions in that avastha, so on and so forth. Yadha, tushni meva sitasya sanyasina. So, in order to make this statement more clear, he provides us with one example. Tatha Kushni Meva Sthitasya. So, and he has chosen a very good example saying that Sanyasina. One Sanyasi. Tushni Meva Sthitasya. He is keeping quiet. Then Tushni Meva Sthitasya Sanyasina. Tatra Agata Purusha. Tad Avastha. Tad Vyapara. Nirvikartaya. Sakshadrashtutva. Sakshadrashtutva. Like this sannyasi who is sitting quiet and observes other person who comes, his state, he is drunk, he is sober, so on and so forth. Agata, agata purusha, purusha tadavastha. And so he sees that whether how is he? Huh? He is sober or drunk, happy or sad, and so angry or so on and so forth. Tadvyaparana. And then if he is drunk, what does he do? If he is angry, what he is doing? So on so Nirvikartaya, without him undergoing any change, any modification. Nirvikartaya, saksha drashtutvam, sakshitvam. Our Maharaj used to tell one incident story. So, in one town, so one Mahatma came and one rich person of that town was a Vedanti. So he could understand certain things. So on the ghat, Ganga ghat over there, where everybody has come to take bath, this Mahatma started shouting. Koi kabar hai kya? Koi kabar hai kya? Is there any tomb? Is there any tomb? Sage said, Kabar hai chalo amare sa. Took him home. Gave him a room. Raho. Kabar mil gai. Then after a few days, that Mahatma was sitting there at night and then he saw one thief, a robber thief, enter at night. 
and he raised an alarm. Allah Majadi, Chor Chor. All the servants and everybody woke up, caught that thief. But then that said, she came and he said, Babaji, Kabar to Asli thi Murda Nakli Nikla. Kabar to Asli thi Murda Nakli Nikla. Okay. So that example, Yatha Tushni Meva Sitasya Sanyasika. Tatra Agatha Purusha, Tadavastha, Tadvya Parana, Dirvikar Taya Saksha Drashtutvam, Sakshitvam, Atma Pi Jivana, Avastha Traya, Avastha Traya Vyapara, Avastha Vataha Jivanscha, Pashtana Pi Nirvikar Taya Kishtate. So also what happens with Atma? How come this definition is applicable in Atma now? Atma pi jivana is the witness of all the jivas. There are three avasthas. There and all that they are doing even in these avasthas. Pashyanapi nirvikarataya avatishtate. Now, you know, those who are saying that eka jiva vad is what Gaudapada Chaja is bringing. There they have to understand that even Bhagavad Gita also, Shri Krishna says, Na adatte kasichit papam na chaiva sukritam vivohum. This Atma, this Paramatma, does not take anybody's papa or puddha. Okay. Because Though this Atma is one in all the Dehas, in all the bodies, yet everything that is done by everyone, a thief is doing something that is sinful, a saint is doing something that is punya, pun, punya so on and so forth. But none of these actions, Papa or Punya, ever get associated with this Vipu the all pervasive atma. Okay. Kisi ke bhi nahi. Sarva jiva na. So in this heka jiva, this is only this one. One jiva, everybody else is what? Jiva bhasa. Like in Swapna, there is only one. Swapna drashta. And all the jivas that are seen in this Swapna are what? Jiva bhasa of the appearances. Mm. So, Atma pi jivana avasthatraya, avasthatraya vyapara, avasthita avasthavato jivansh, question of all three things. Jivanam avastha, then Whatever happens in that avastha, vyaparas, transactions of that avastha, and avastha vataha, jivanam, pashyanapi nirvikartaya avateshthade. Okay? Idam eva sakshit. This is called a sakshit. Now, the sakshit of This Sankhya is a little different because <laughs> according to them, there is an Atma is one per head. So they are going to say, just as I am the Sakshi of this body, of this mind and of these Indriyas, so also you are the Sakshi of your body mind and indriyas. And therefore there is Sakshi. You are also Purusha. You are also Atma. Asanga. 
unattached, unassociated with everything. Just as I am, so are, so are you. Okay? So there is Sakshi Bahu. Sakshi. Over here also, we can have that provision. But now going by the definition that the book is providing us at this moment, Jivanam, Sarvesham Jivanam Sakshi. Of all the Jivas, their avasthas and their transactions of those avasthas, all the three. You understand? Not of only this body, mind, and intellect or indriyas, but sarvesham. You understand that difference? Huh? Ah, so he, he says that idameva sakshi ha atma api jivana. So now that by jivana, what do you mean? Bahuvachana is used. Na? Plural is used. Jivana. Avasthatraya. Avasthatraya vyapara. Avasthavu jivaya. Pashchanapi nirvikarataya. Avatishthate. Idameva sakshitvam. Drashtanta purvakam. Udarapi kathyate. This idameva. This is what we mean by the sakshit. Okay. Drishtanta Purva Kaptunarapikatyate. Now he says we will make this thing more lucid through an exact. Let's run up this. Eka Mahanagara Mahanagaravat Jagaradavastha. There is a Mahanagara, a city. So obviously he's bringing an example of. Olden days where city was the center, just as today, city is the center of all the various economic activities and also of the political administration, administrative head. Okay. So Eka Mahanagaravat Jagradavastha. So this Mahanagara is like the Jagradavastha city. Tatra Prakaravat Swapnavastha. In that there is one palace that is Swapnavastha. Prakar. Okay, you can consider that to be a big, big, um, what do they call property, estate. Nice gardens and you know all that. Prakaravat Swapnavastha. Tadanta Prasadavat Sushupyavastha. And inside that palace there is one chamber and that is like the Sushupyavastha. So now there is the city, the palace, and inside the palace, which is the chamber. All this is, this is, these are the three avastha prayas. Tatra. Tat trayabhimani yu prabhuvat avastha trayabhimani jivaha. Now, now, he who is carrying the abhiman, the identity of Aham Charat Purusha, etc. Aham Bhokta Karta Bhokta, etc. He, he is the Prabhu. He is the Prabhu. He is the Jiva. So, what happens this, to this Prabhu? Prabhu what? Avastha Trayapimani Jiva. So, as long as you are considering yourself as to be this Jagrat Purusha, that means that we, you are identified as a jiva. When you are able to see that just as I am present in this Chakradavastha as well as in Swapna and Sushupti, then you have given up the Abhimana of Chakradavastha. You will be present in Chakradavastha, but there is no Abhimana. Okay. 
सो अवस्था वर्तमान so out of his palace that means naturally he is out of his citadel and he is in that city bahi hi vartamana he is in the city doing his various transactions bahi hi vartamana priya priye anukulya and everywhere he is going to experience something pleasant and something unpleasant in fact there can be something unpleasant even with pleasant isn't it so not that thing you know they are totally different things now someone gives you a nice mithai to eat but makes a very bitter face and goes away maybe your wife or me what did i do this is nice something is pleasant something is unpleasant in the same plate you see the same experience so priya priye anubhuya thus he experiences priya and apriya pleasant and unpleasant harsham vishadam cha prapya and as a result he experiences also harsh and vishad tat prakarasya antascha priya priye anubhuya then he comes home also and it home also no different story priya priye anubhuya so swapna avastha is also not much different over there also something is pleasant something is unpleasant ah uh, have you ever seen sometimes if, if you have pets dogs or cats they also have dreams they also growl and fight in the in the swapna if that dog would you could wake up and he could tell you in human language he would tell you you he is swapna but you know we people like to wake up next and you you have to tell your husband wife you know, what happened i saw in dream ai ko bada acha lagta tha ye so हर्षम विषादम प्राप्य हर्षम विषादम प्राप्य प्रासादे आगत्य सर्वान व्यापार but inside he comes in his own chamber vyaparan vihaya tushnim striyas sukham anubhavan aste and then he goes to sleep his wife is there she she is not disturbing so sukham striyas sukham anubhavan aste okay then evam jivatma api thus now you, if you have understood this example sitting palace and his chamber in the chamber nothing happens goes to sleep sukham okay tushnim striya sah sukham anubhavan aste over there is not seen goes to sleep but he he stays over there happily is happy there And that three over here means that avidya. Okay, this three means avidya. Because in that deep sleep you have avidya as your companion, and though there is ignorance, but there is no worry, no anxiety, no nothing, no frustration. Everything gone, peaceful. Tushnim no. 
nobody is talking disturbing so tushni maaste hey okay evam jeevaatma api sthula sharira api maati jagrat avasthaya in the jagrat avastha what happens trividha karana vyapara yuktaha san now he is very much engrossed in the transactions through all the three karanas what are these three instruments body mind and speech so over there trividha karana vyapara yuktaha san vishvo bhutva and over there he assumes this identity as vishva what is his identity there when all the three karanas are there vishva vishvo bhutva then sukshma sharira abhimani swapna avasthayam so when he gives up he comes from the city into the palace swapna avasthayam manomaya trividha karana guna dosha vyapara yukta over there also he sees a body he speaks and even he thinks so trividha karanas are there but how are these trividha karanas now they are not like jagrat avastha but they are manomaya all of them are manomaya manomaya trividha karana guna dosha vyapara yukta asan taijaso bhutva over here what is he taijasa so also when you go out you are the boss or whatever subordinate superordinate outside when you come home you are a father or a brother or a mother what you call husband and so on so forth different identity you don't become a boss to your child and scold him for not doing his work as you would scold and throw somebody out of the work okay you are your boss you will terminate his job so you didn't do your homework no longer throw him out bring another one do you can you do that so over there you have a different identity like that in the swapna avastha also what is your identity called taijasa taijaso bhutva pascha karana sharira abhimani sushupta avastha sushupti avastha yam त्रिविध कर्ण गुण उपसंभृत्य प्राशियो भूपा नित्यानंदम अनुभव आस्ते देन इन द थर्ड ही कम्स टू हिज ओन चेंबर ओवर देयर इन हिज ओन रूम कारण शरीर अभिमानी ही व्हाट अभिमान ही हैज ओनली ऑफ द कारण शरीर इज अभिमान दैट्स व्हाई व्हेन यू मेक अप आल्सो दैट अभिमान आई स्लेप will be there so karana sharira apimani sushupti avasthayam trividha karana gana upasamgatya now this, this these are the ganas it is it is what a collection uh, of all the karanas of instruments and upasamrite as if he is withdrawn from there he has kept them all in a bag and zipped it trividha karana karana gana up ganam upasamrite prashnyo bhutva and as prashnyo he experiences ahan okay experiences but from which we don't experience anand we may at the most experience there is no worry there is no anxiety there is no you know guilt and there is no all those things are not there to bother okay where is anand now you tell us what are you naturally drawn to sukham or not Huh? and suppose even if you are given a diamond worth 10 crores say hey, you the whole evening night you may just show it to people you may wear it also on head 
10 crores. Somebody presented to this Ganpati in Pune. You saw that one? Big diamond, 1 crore. Diamond in the head. The, huh? the Ganpati is very beautiful. Anyway, so what happened is that after some time, you will say that, let me go to sleep. Enough of the diamond business. Let me keep it safely, but let me go to sleep. So you will do all that and go to sleep. Why are you going to sleep, leaving that diamond also? Because there is more sukham there, that's why. So if you are saying there is no sukham in the sushupti, why are you giving up the sukham that is there outside, provided to you by the indriyas? Yeah. So naturally, which means that you are ready to give it up. You would not give it up if there was no sukham. Correct? So in order to, for that sukham to be to be had, you give up even the jagrat and swapnavastha and stay. So that's why in that prakar nityananda anubhavatna stay. Okay? This is the example. Further, evam atma kutasthaha akashavad asangaha eva san avastha trayepi pratyak chaitanya sakshi rupeda vartate iti shruti yukti anubhavai yashyata vya. Evam atma, so also this atma, kutasthaha, kutasthaha means kute sthitaha. You know, the anvil of the blacksmith is called as kuta. So whether he has to make a knife or he has to make something, everything will be hammered and made on that anvil. Okay, that iron will be heated and flattened on the anvil. But everything comes and goes, anvils remain on its own place. So, like that, Jagrat Swapna Sushupti Avasthas, so Abhimanis will come, the Vyapara will come, Tattar Avastha Vyapara. But this, there is something that remains unchanged. Something which remains unchanged. And that which vikara rahitam, that which is free from all the vikaras of coming, going, and modification, that is atma. Atma akutastha. So the first word for atma is kutastha. Then that word itself provides us with a certain meaning. He has given you another example also to understand the kutastha. But before that, one more meaning of the word kutastha. Two actually. Kuta also means the peak of a mountain. Just as the peak, the mountain remains achala. That's why mountain is also called as achala. Himachala. Nila achala. So, rain will come and lightnings will come and thunder will come and storms and cyclones will come. Last year when we were in Mount Abu, we had gone to this Dattatre Paduka in Mount Abu, that is the topmost part, and a cyclone had come. Last year there was a cyclone in Gujarat, so that was coming. And so, um, you know, it was very difficult in that cyclone, but this kuta, that Tattatra Paduka remains like that. <laughs> so, kuta means the mountain peak. So, all the storms and cyclones, rain and sun will happen, but the kuta remains in its own place. Then, one more meaning is kuta also means. Something that is complicated, like Kutaniti, huh? Kutila, crooked. Hmm? Hmm? 
क्या हो गया कुटीला देर वॉज वन कैरेक्टर ऑल्सो दिस वृंदावन पीपल हैव दैट लीला वन मदर इन लॉ ऑफ द गोपी हर नेम इज कुटीला एंड वन इज जटीला they they do ram leela like that there is krishna leela also they do ras leela there is one kutila jatila characters kuta okay like this maya is the kuta and that which is seated right in the center of that unaffected is kuta sta okay so evam atma kuta sta आकाशवत असंग नाउ नाउसो असंग इन ऑर्डर टू फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड द असंगत्व द एग्जाम्पल इज दैट ऑफ आकाश स्पेस then even this can also be the example to understand the word kutas because a building is made it rises in the space and it is raised or is it in the space but the space does not did not rise or get raised and therefore space remains unchanged where it is as it is therefore space is also an example to understand kutastha but also it also makes you understand asangatva okay akashavat asangaha eva san avastha trayepi pratyak chaitanya sakshi rupena vartate so like that eva asanga asangaha eva san avastha trayepi do present in all the three avasthas this is very important there is no avastha bereft of this atma and therefore there is no experience where there is no atma i am not not is not there swami ji i have experienced such an experience where there was this i was not there in who experienced it this some people the meditation people are there always they want to make it something very mystical so now we have experienced some avastha like that so who experienced sir who the experience if you were not there how would you know that there was an experience <laughs> so all such things are just their poetical flights it's okay so we are not going to rely on that and so he says avastha traye api so though is present in all the three avasthas pratyak chaitanya sakshi rupena vartate this inner consciousness remains over there as the witnessing consciousness pratyak chaitanya sakshi rupena vartate but how did you know by three shruti yukti and anub anubhavai shyam so we have these three pramanas साक्षी चेता केवलो निर्गुणश्च सो नाउ दिस श्रुति इज देयर व्हिच अलाउज अस टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस आत्मा इज साक्षी हाउ दिस श्रुति साक्षी श्वेता श्वतर श्रुति दिस इज साक्षी चेता केवलो निर्गुणश्च इति श्रुति पत्ता 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 
So also we gave you this example of that city and also of Akash. So these Drishtantas are the Yuktis from where you can draw the similarities and understand. Okay. Drishtanta. Drishtanta is over here called as the Yukti. Because what does it help? You? How does it help you to have the inference can be drawn? Yatha Mahanase. Like that. Yeah, one Yatha. Our famous example. Vadnimanayam Parvata. What is the example there? But what example? Like kitchen. Mahanasi. Anyways, so Anubhavahatamaiti. Well, sir, you have a Shruti and also. Yukti, inference, Anumana Pramana is there to support. What is your Pratyaksha Pramana is the question. So here Anubhava means Pratyaksha Pramana. And Pratyaksha does not necessarily mean that it is Indriya Janya. Just directly know. That's it. And Purva Purva Dinavastha Trayam Asmahi Pratidinam Smariyate. Now look at that, that. How is that Anubhava? Purva Purva Dinavastha. The, the three Avasthas experienced on the earlier days is remembered in the following days. Correct? Oh, yesterday I had a very disturbed sleep. Day before yesterday I had a very Peaceful sleep. So you remember. Oh my God. Six months ago, I had a very horrible dream. Yeah. And you have some dreams that you remember for a lifetime. Amiji, I remember I had a dream in which I, I saw I had gone to Jagannath Puri. And I was standing in front of Jagannath. Okay. Something like that. So these are something that you may remember for lifetime. So avastha trayas are remembered or not? If avastha trayas are remembered, that means can you remember them without experiencing it? And therefore, pratidinam smaryate smaranasya anubho purvakatva niyama. Because what is the niyama for smarana? That there has to be some sort of an anubhava. Okay. So, smaranasya anubhava purvakatva niyamad asmarhi hi avastha trayam anubhuyate evaiti siddham plus you have experienced the avastha trayas and that itself should help you to understand that you are beyond all the three avasthas. I am, I am beyond all the three of us. Evaiti Siddham. Evam Atmana Agatana Agaminam Chavasthanam Kramena Anubhuyamanatvat Anubhuvarupasyatmano Nityatvamapi Siddham. So along with this, one more point gets established. And that is that not, not only about the avasthas which have which have come and gone, but even avasthas which will come and go sequentially, Kramena. Kramena. Evam Atmana Agatana Maga Pinam Javasthanam Kramena Ruyavana Twat Anavarupa Syatmano Nityatvam. Now that also proves that all these are anitya. And the one who is illumining all this is 
nityam and therefore this nitya form of atma also gets established api siddham evam avasthatraya sakshitvam this is called as the avasthatraya sakshitvam okay i think this is good enough for today's this evening we will meet again for the next class om purnamada purnamida purna purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva shishyate om shanti 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 shankaram shankaracharyam kesavam badarayanam ಪುತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ಕೃತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತಂ ಪುನ ಪುನ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಹರ ಹರ ಮಹಾದೇವ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್